Hey folks, what's going on? As you can see here, this is my uh, 87 Toyota pickup. It's pretty nice. Got the uh, new engine in here, the Weber carb and all that. Uh, yeah, I swapped in the new engine. Looks terrific. Uh, something I just wanted to offer people was uh, uh, the the removal. Something about the removal of the uh, the crank pulley bolt uh, down down in here. If you can see that on the bottom pulley at the front of the engine here, and uh, I wanted to share my experience uh, taking off the original crank pulley bolt on the the old engine before I put this uh, this new one in here uh, because I actually did it wrong and I just uh, came up with a good way of getting it off that I thought would be very useful to some people and if you're watching this and you you have a more formal uh, channel or make more formal videos about uh, 22 hours or anything like that please uh, please take what I'm about to say and you know use it and put it in your own videos. Uh, if they get more, you know, more traffic or more hits, because it might be very useful to some people. But uh, so, nonetheless, uh, excuse me. When I was uh, when I was taking the the crank pulley bolt off of my original engine, it's down there somewhere. You can't even see it, but it's uh, uh yeah, down there. Uh, when I was taking the original one off my engine, I like a dope. I put a a 12 point socket on there and tried to. To, to get her off in a number of different ways and as I was doing so the the socket just slipped like a little bit and 12 points really can't take that much torque when you're trying to remove stuff so uh, as I was as I was cranking on it putting a lot of torque on it it actually rounded part of the the head of the bolt so I was in I mean excuse my language but I was up the you know you know what creek at that point and I was very scared that uh, <laughs> that the original crank pulley bolt was going to be stuck on there. But uh, long story short, and the reason I made this video is just so people can see I made this guy. All this is is for locking the crank pulley to get uh, counter leverage as you're trying to to crank that uh, to get the bolt off to keep the uh, to keep the engine from turning as you're trying to untorque that bolt. So all this is, as you can see, is just a piece of regular old angle iron I think it's about you know a foot and a half long or something like that and I have these two bolts in the end they're pretty heavy heavy bolts but what they do is they slide so so I'm down room up here and I don't know if you can see very well I apologize but uh, use your use your darn imagination the way this thing goes in here is you know when before I had the radiator and everything back in I had all this stuff out of here so you had a lot more room and that's I mean that's how you take this thing off you don't you don't do it with the radiator and all this junk in the way but um, you, you slide these things in there and those two bolts will lock into the slots that are located in the crank pulley and that's the these bolts at the end of this piece of angle iron have been installed or just they've been placed there just so they fit into those slots and make uh, you know a pretty good lock and then the uh, the end of this guy just sits against a frame rail right there and what this does is you know this just gives you counter leverage it locks that pulley in place so as you're uh, you know putting putting torque on the uh, the crank pulley bolt to get it off uh, this thing locks it very very positively so you know I've seen other methods that on YouTube people talking about it, using a uh, like a, a rubber strap wrench and things like that. I, I don't know whose engine that would work on, but uh, like my own pulley bolt was on there pretty pretty darn good, so it was very hard to get off. And I would highly suggest doing this first if you're doing an engine swap. You know, build one of these things before you even attempt to take that pulley bolt off and do it right the first time. Unlike unlike dopes like me using a 12 point. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing is use a Use a six-point socket, you know, like an air air ratchet socket to to, uh, to untorque that bolt. Don't use a 12-point socket. And uh, I think it's like 19 millimeter or something like that. Maybe like 21. But um, but anyway, I just thought this would help some people uh, get that darn bolt off. It's a real beast, and it's one of those things that you know you don't really foresee it. You think you'll just be able to swap your your engine in and out, and it, it was probably one of the biggest kind of like heart attack moments when I was swapping my own engine and I hope people find this uh this useful so do it right the first time and uh yeah so enjoy and again if anybody's watching this and you have a uh, a better channel and better lighting 
better camera movement <laughs> and so on please do please please plagiarize this video uh, just you know add it to your own uh, video on 22 hours or anything like that and just just spread the word so thank you bye bye